Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as the United States, episode number 9, I think. Although when we get up to 10 or so, I start forgetting what episode exactly we're on. So we didn't have this war, no war materialized, we didn't really get out a, a nice clean class. We have this Philippines class, which is more of a stopgap than anything. She's a pretty brutal ship with the... I mean, if you think about it in terms of the... The ability to fire chasing after another ship, she can get three guns to bear with any kind of... I think it's only a 30 degree angle we need. I don't remember exactly. We probably could just look it up by opening the ship, but... Yeah, I think it's 30 degree angle. Anyway, what we can see is that we do have a few of our battleships becoming obsolete. It's a good time to replace those. I also wanted to take a look, 1908, 1912, probably about time for the Kingfishers to get an upgrade. Um, it doesn't cost really anything for them to be upgraded, and the fact that they get scrapped if they're old at all is like obviously a lot of incentive to just keep keep replacing them. And I, I could have selected them all and done this, but one extra step gets them all. Okay, 45 ships. I am not looking forward to when those ships are deployed. That's 45 times I have to hit enter. So, woe is me. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have the Mount Rainier class. We have the Fon Stoibin. Uh, we have the Philippines, which is, it's a pretty good class. I'll be interested to see it in battle. Hopefully we get a chance. Uh, and I have plenty of ship names, plenty of ship names that we can uh, contribute. Plenty, plenty, plenty. So, okay, let's push on. I don't, I don't even remember what we're waiting for. Is it all or nothing armor at this point? Oh, no, 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 of course, I still don't have four centerline turrets. <laughs> Which means that, oh, what? We almost acquired five plus? Oh, and somebody else had a good point that we can put intel up with Russia because they have centerline turrets. I mean, we might as well just go high for everyone. We don't really need the budget anyway. We aren't losing any budget. Um, there was other things that I had in mind to do. What were they? I'm probably going to rename the Congress or maybe even just scrap her because I'm considering that for one of my new ship names. So it looks like we have plenty of new, I mean, plenty of classes still available to us. Oh god, here we go. So I may miss an important message, but who could blame me? <laughs> I'm not going to pay attention to these. Okay, yeah. I think actually I hit enter to end the turn, which is not what I meant it to do, but looks like we didn't pay any price for it, which is good. Okay, so 274 and the, what were the messages? Hmm. Training was another thing. I we are already training, so we don't really need any help here. I could take off knife fighting and go to torpedo warfare. Honestly, around this time, torpedo warfare becomes more important at night than gunnery at night. So let's do this. And otherwise, my crew is already trained well. So let's start fixing these situations. Though we have no director firing, but they just need to be refit. So. We'll just basically make them exactly the same. Looks like it's only it's still only that 10% reduction. These Grand Rapids are still, I would say, a great ship. Now, uh, I was also pointed out that we can store people for free in the Western United States, and I forget where the other one was. Was it the Caribbean? Is that also a home zone? I don't know, but it's nice to know that we can basically use the Western United States as a base we don't have to worry about returning all of our ships in order to lower their maintenance all the way to the east coast. I think it was Janus who pointed that out. I could be wrong. It might have been someone else. Who knows? Uh, so yeah, and I was going to wait for this one because I was waiting for the director firing, but mm, is that the only reason? I think we ought to do it. 120 rounds is not fantastic. Oh, uh, was I waiting for better... Well, that's quite a hefty improvement. If we needed money, if we needed a, a sink for our money, well, that is it. So we'll be able to do everyone except for the eagle. Uh, 
And it's definitely one way to spend your money. Negative 12 million, very good. And we'll do the same thing for the O'Bannons. Oh boy, that's not a lot of money. I mean, pff, sorry, money. Uh, that's not a lot of rounds per gun to get our weight even. Do we have better 10 inch guns? No. Okay. Well, director firing, I would prefer that over anything. Still want torpedoes. Hmm. 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 This is a really tough call. How much would it be to replace machinery? Something I normally dislike. Why? Look at the rebuild cost and the time. So our rebuild cost went up to 12,000 and our, this is more important to me really, is our monthly, uh, sorry, our time total will be 10. So let me undo that. I wish you could undo it without just flat out canceling, but let's go back. So we're at 4,288. We go to director, we're at 4,515. So, you know, significant cost increase. But now from 4,515, we go to like 10, and doubled again so it's to over twice as long and the, the amount is doubled so basically you can think of this as probably about five times the cost it's five times the cost to do replace machinery and what do we get out of it let's find out we get two knots does that really make sense does it really make sense to have this thing cost one point and now the cost went up because the speed and machinery weight it's gone up I mean, the maintenance will increase. Does it really make sense for this ship to spend 45 million? 45 million? No, no, no. This doesn't make sense. It's only 15 million. I don't know what this number is. Well, the, I mean, here, this is the total cost. Okay, I was misreading this. This is the cost, obviously, 15,000, 15 million. So does it really make sense to spend 15 million on improving it two knots? I mean, let's say 10 million on improving it two knots. Well, it's, it's, it's almost 15. It's right between, right? Because it was, what? Uh, four months at 500,000. Yeah, it was 2 million versus, so it's, it's essentially $13 million. $13 million to get two knots out of this ship. 24 knots is not going to get her away from any of the battlecruisers. I think the minimum speed for battlecruisers is 25. I'm not sure about that, but it's at least the minimum I put my battlecruisers battle to. So she still can't escape. I think I'd rather field other um, other things. Like this is this is still dead if it's caught by a battlecruiser. And in some ways it's worse to do this. Although we could do oil firing as well. Could we get her to 25? No. I mean, we can get her to 24 and use round, more rounds per gun, but you can see how leery I am of that. By the way, I mean, this was a, something I... We could test on this. Um, if I open the Minnesota... Okay, let's open the Minnesota. Let's open this design. Did it do it? Yeah, basically just a director. What happens if we were to replace machinery here? Yeah, we can, we can <laughs> we could get one extra knot. We don't need it. These battleships at 19 is exactly where I want them to be. But it's something to consider with the von Steubens and the Mount Rainiers, although they were just refit, so we won't. We'll probably leave them alone. Okay, so we have some work to do on the Obandon, but I don't don't know how I want to deal with this ship. I don't replace machinery a lot, and that's definitely the reason why. So the fact that we can get her to 25 if we decrease her rounds per gun to 115, 115 is just really, really poor. It's really poor. Oh man, that's that's tough. Let's just think about it for a little bit longer. Uh, yes, we need that technology. We needed it a little bit ago. Torpedo protection two is the sweet spot, in my opinion. Torpedo protection one is bad because the difference between one and two is very little. If it costs like, let's say 800 tons to put one on, between one and two is only like an additional 300 tons. So it's really nice. Two is a sweet spot. And then four is the next sweet spot. Between two and three, it's like another 900 tons. It's really heavy. And then three and four, it's another like 200, 300 tons. 
I mean, this is depends on the tonnage of the ship. That number will increase and decrease, and that isn't the exact scaling, but it, it's something like that. It's pretty um, it's pretty drastic. Okay. So we definitely found a way to eat into our budget, but with the tensions rising, we gotta do something about this O'Bannon. We just we really have to. I think I'm just going to go director firing and hope that we don't encounter any battle cruisers right away. What I want to do with this ship is put her into the less well patrolled sea zones. Um, that's the ideal. So let's get all of them. They can refit again if we have to. At least we, they won't have to do director firing after this. So if we, I mean, if we happen to get better 10 inch guns or something else we can always just refit the ship again because we do have a lot of money now, this is a 1911 ship yeah and we don't have director or i think director on secondary guns is um at the same time as getting director on your light cruisers okay to our research and subdivision damage control i'm still not sure if that is backwards or not so we do have a lot of people in good but you know what let's take everyone off of reserve fleet another way to of course spend more money because we're kind of close to going to war so minus 15 million you know that does hurt there's been several people advising me to take my ships off of reserve fleet but I would actually say okay so benefit sub um, so the damage control and torpedo technology and ASW we got torpedo technology so it does make sense we probably did get the benefit so I would say that it's actually not worth it um, unless we're really really gonna go to war if we go to war with Italy that's gonna be a joke yeah I think we gotta put our ships our battleships at least and our armored cruisers it does save quite a lot of money Grand Rapids is a great ship, but ah, oh, man. It's tough. We'll leave them on active fleet for a little bit, because once these ships are deployed, it won't, I mean, we'll, we should, our budget should be fine. Can we make it that long? Yeah, 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 because our budget is just always on the up and up. The lone sandwich class. <laughs> it's funny. Just funny to see it there. Okay, expired good because eventually I think we should go to war with the with the Brits okay oh boy tantamount to surrender this is prestige and tension we will not reduce our navy unilaterally if they are nervous about armaments they should call a disarmament conference we have all of our Philippines building right now I think that would hurt us more than anyone else it would is not the choice, although it wouldn't hurt us in battle cruisers. Five, seven, two, four, four, two. I bet five, I mean. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll do this. I mean, we're in active fleet already, right? So let's give our ships a good reason. By the way, um, this is just, just came out today. So this is Monday for me. Um, there's a R Rule the Waves 2 dev diary i probably should just do a separate channel video about that because i have thoughts and i'd like to express them um but anyway it's there so if you go to the rule the waves forum you can there's now a new category for rule the waves too okay so it's basically making progress i still don't expect it before december but i could be proven wrong and that would be wonderful so the germans don't have director firing yet i'm not going to sell to them Diesel generators, good, good. Oh my gosh, the new naval sub <laughs> secretary leaves submarines are the key to victory. He wants you to build at least 21 submarines. Well, I think what we do is test out this theory that you can cancel things immediately after, so October. Okay, November, December, January, February, March. So in March, we'll build it. 
We're going to build 21 submarines. We will be building the coastal variety. Uh, does t I wonder if that satisfies it. It says SS, but I wonder if it SSC satisfies it. I hope so. So let's build them for basically like two months and then we'll cancel it. Somebody, I, somebody mentioned that you don't, you have to keep it building for like six months or something, but I was pretty sure I was able to cancel it. So let's find out. And I don't care. I mean, pff, I wanted to take the money anyways. We're spending money on the two months to attempt to, to get the prestige back, but I don't care about losing the prestige. I'm not going to spend money on 21 submarines. I'll probably forget to do it and then we won't have a chance to see anything. But let's find out. Let's do the experiment. Okay, these are now coming back. We'll send our forefathers. Actually, don't we have one that's... No, we don't. Yeah, we'll send our forefathers off to the Philippines. <laughs> Good. And you know what? We might as well send... Let's send Florida and Georgia together off to the west coast. Although we, if we wait just one more... Uh, wait, just... Well, okay, you can go. One can go. But 1914 is when the canal was built. I don't remember when it was built. Maybe it was in the summer because they had terrible... I know that the... I thought the jungle had a lot of, you know, basically... There was a lot of death from disease <clears throat> because of the jungle, but that might have been just through the years, not because they finished it in the summer. So we'll find out. The brilliant light cruiser is anything but, I would say. Okay, we have more Northern Europe. That's fine. And we can keep going without building that quite yet. Need one in Southeast Asia. That was that one. And these are coming back, so let's test it now. Can you move to Northeast Asia? You're going to the Caribbean? Yeah, so that must be the indicator that you need now at 1914. You can now move there. Fantastic. So the canal has opened. We'll use it to embarrass the British. Better ASW, which is going to be important. Yep, there it goes. We're jumping right over. Fantastic. Okay, so now let's get the Florida and Georgia and the Connecticut too. And you know what? Just the Aptos as well. Aptos. Um, let's get all these guys to move to the West Coast. Basically, we don't want any of our good ships on the East Coast or in the Caribbean now. We want them all on the West Coast or in Southeast Asia. Shove them off to like the secondary sites. Better armor. Budget is starting to neutralize, and this is the last month we can go. We have to start building our submarines. So let's first of all see if I can build 21 of these garbage ones. If I'm going to cancel them anyways, I might as well spend less money. Okay, build one more. Ugh, I think it's actual mine, uh, medium range ones, which is really annoying. In my opinion, it's almost a bug. Okay, so one more. The hell? Did I do something wrong? 21. the heck oh okay we're okay now all right fair enough whatever <laughs> satisfied it crews are now proficient we want they want to give us 13 quality zero yes again even if you aren't using them it's good to just check that box remember we got the quality one two inch guns the most worthless guns you can get um, it's better to buy that from someone else just so because you're gonna get it anyway. The researchers are idiots. 
Um, we need to go one more month, I guess, and then we'll satisfy this submarine building requirement. It wouldn't be so bad for me to have these, by the way, but let's just cancel like a few of them to see if it, if it, if it holds, if my idea holds. Okay. Um, I don't want to give anything to the Germans. They're a technological, oh my goodness. I'm amazed that we got the all or nothing armor configuration before four plus, I mean, four center line. I mean, at this point, we're looking for five plus center line. I'm not crazy, right? Did I miss it? I did. I'm speculating here. Now, I'm confused. Did I get it in the last episode and I didn't realize? Or, I mean, it, it's been like three days. I'm not able to record these as frequently as I was hoping or as I once was able to. So maybe I've just forgotten. Did we have four centerline turrets in the last? Or did I, I saw a five plus centerline turrets pop up at some point, but I thought it was we had difficulty getting it. Now, if you have five plus, you obviously have four. Maybe that's what happened, but Regardless of what it is, it doesn't matter, and it doesn't matter that our budget's tanking. I mean, there's definitely a good reason to cancel these damn subs. 39, I don't see our prestige drop immediately. We'll see what happens if we take a moment. We're definitely going to design a new ship almost immediately, but I want to make sure everything is okay here. Okay, let's get you rebuilt as well now. And let's get you rebuilt as well. It's pretty hard to see which, like when they're all rebuilt, it's hard to see, like the difference between Galveston and Galveston with rebuild is big, but the difference between 1913 and 1904 and the parentheses is a little bit harder to tell. So yeah, I mean, we have, oh man, we have a new ship class we're gonna have to design. looks like it's gonna be a battle cruiser Yep. Okay, here we go. Well, let's see if I'm going to be penalized for that. Yeah, so I, I think that that was a bogus comment, a mistake, which is fair. I mean, everyone's, uh, everyone gets one, right? <laughs> if you're constantly pestering me about things incorrectly, then maybe it'll be annoying, but just one is, is fine. Intelligence reports that the Italian Navy has the majority of the families. Don't fret, send a note. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we'll add better that to everyone. Oh, yes. Japan? Japan doesn't have anything for us, right? They, we took, they already lost their, no, the, we have Taiwan. Technically, we can get Taiwan from them. It would be over so quickly. It would be just utter de decimation. I actually think we should go with France again. Call me crazy, but they have the most to offer us. I'm thinking specifically Southeast Asia. I mean, Taiwan would be a good choice, and I don't mind. Let's put Italy down to none. I don't, they're not going to give us any intel. I'm not interested in going to war with Italy. It's just going to be a long trek over to the Mediterranean. So I don't want to do that. By the way, how is our base in the Caribbean? If we do need, to, yeah, we have plenty in, <laughs> plenty in the Caribbean. That's good. It's our entire force can fit there without any problems. Very good to see. Okay, so let's just, by the way, build this fortification, another one, because you can never have too many fortifications protecting the Panama Canal. <laughs> Seems like a pretty important place. Yeah, France is, to, oh, well, Germany could be a great target too. With I forgot about the um, Bismarck Islands or whatever they're called, Bismarck Archipelago, Caroline Islands, Northern Marianas, these are great choices as well. Just Thailand, I don't know. I mean Thailand, Pfft. Taiwan. Yeah, these are the ones I want to target. Anyone in Southeast Asia? But I guess technically, 
yeah, Germany would be a great choice because we already have stuff in northern Korea. I mean, in northern Korea, but no, north, what is it called? Northern Asia? Northeast Asia. Since we already own a colony here, we might as well just... I don't. If I'm already putting one ship, I don't mind putting more. So we'll wait another moment. Yes. Triple torpedo mounts. Technology is just raining in. Five plus center line, jeez. I don't think we'll use that, but yeah. So now these are Philippines 1914, which is great. They'll all be the same, which is nice. These aren't going to be done in time. I hope that when I refit them, they're not 1915. If I accelerate them, how much would they be? Not, it's not gonna be fast enough to get them done. Like, can I accelerate them so they're done in 1914 so they all have the same refit time? I don't know, it might work anyway. They might all just get the same refit number, I hope. That's my hope. Okay, well, I keep talking about designing this thing, but we don't really have the budget for it for the first time. So we're gonna go for a very fast, well, let me do this. Lightning will want double turrets. I think that we can do these now. We can't? The heck. Well, we don't have better guns yet. Do we have director firing? Do not cramped? Wait, yeah. Jeez, what the heck is going on here? I want to make this pretty fast, too. We'll sacrifice armor to do that. All or nothing, so this is gonna help us a lot. Three on the deck. We'll probably have one more turret, or one more Battlecruiser class after this. Gosh, this is actually a tough call. Two or three, 2.5 or three. Not a tough call on the conning tower. Definitely want higher on the turrets. Not as much on the secondaries. So what do we have available to us? We have poor 15 inch guns or 14 inch guns. And I think the 14 inch guns are gonna take the day because rate of fire and a better quality. We will eventually get better rate of fire. I mean, quality on the 15 inch guns, I'm pretty sure, but. But considering it is a battle cruiser, I don't mind putting lighter guns on it. That's kind of what you sacrifice for speed, right? You lower your armor a bit, you sometimes I usually lower my armament a little bit for that speed as well. And with that extra speed, short range, interesting. Coal, no, I don't think so. Let's go medium, because we want these guys potentially to hunt. My god. It takes a thousand tons to go from 28 to 29. And this is the reason why I usually keep my battle cruisers a little bit on the slower side. Okay, well, that is just a... That's a hurdle to get over, isn't it? My goodness. How are we looking now? We're all okay, so this this could be it. This is centerline superimposed. Let's just double check that. Yep, looks good. Three, two, two, three. This is like, it's like the computer is starting to get to know me. <laughs> really knows who I am. It's, it's really doing things the way I like them done. I think we will increase this to a three, 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 three. So it's 14 inch guns. So basically we don't pay the penalty for this one to increase. I mean, we don't pay more of a penalty. We do for this one, about a, almost 200, just about 200 extra tons. It's gonna go into rounds per gun, director. We have a little bit of space left for, yeah. Actually this maybe can go up to 12. No, what about this? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, this is a, a nice sweet spot, I would say. Although, no, it's not really because I want more than this. What if I go down and then increase? Okay, now we're, now we're talking. Five inch guns, these are only meant to take care of destroyers. And five inch guns, well, they should take care of destroyers. The destroyers are gonna get bigger though. 
Hmm. Couldn't have director firing yet. Ugh. Can't do it. Gotta wait. Okay, that was, like, amazing. The best decision I've ever made to wait one month. Now if we get those triple turrets, they're all better. Which means we need to refit anybody with triple turrets, which is not the von Steubens. Uh, well, oops. But the Mount Rainiers are also only double. Okay, fantastic. So basically we need to refit the Philippine class as soon as it comes out, because that's the only one using triple turrets. Okay. That's, that's okay. We'll do that immediately. Yeah, we don't really have... I mean, okay, we need that extra money. I was just about to say, it's kind of a tough case here. Our two-inch guns are superior to German guns. Wow, I could not care less. <laughs> Japanese apparently already have Torpedo Protection 3. They're trying to master Torpedo Protection 4. Hmm. And whatever... Oh, it's because some of the Philippines started actually finishing... So we have a lot of money now. Well, we did just get all those things. Let's uh, let's just auto design it from scratch again. I still think I'm gonna go with the 14 inch guns. Let's put 110 here. Let's try to get eight per side in one in single turrets. This is hold seven, right? Yeah. Visually, we only see seven. Drop this down. Those those would be useful anyways. Now. The torpedo tubes on the sides. Let's get this up to 28. I think the 28 is doable. Put this back down to 9. We can do 2.5. We can make him pretty lightly armored. Okay. She's starting to come together again. So what do we have? Short range? Gosh, why are they doing that? Huh. Oh, because it's 32,000. Okay, yeah. Well, we'll just go to for a bigger ship. Thank you. <laughs> and what are we missing now? Let's go to 12. I, j I feel a little uncomfortable making it less than 12. That's what we could have happen is a flash fire of some kind. So let's keep those t the turret high. Okay. So 2.5, 10... I mean, we can raise to 11 just by merit of the fact that we have all this space left over. And director to improve director is not that much. I'm sure it's less than 20. And honestly, when we get to advanced director, which probably will take our rounds down by a bit, we'll be hitting so often with advanced director that it's fine to take the rounds down. down. That's my the same logic I've been using for, well, for many series. I think this is a good class. I would like to get it fat, uh, higher, but, I mean... Who's got a thousand tons to spare? Let's just pretend I want to keep it the same. If the 34 goes, okay, first of all, let's also look at the cost. This is 130, 136. That's not terrible, but it's not done either. So it goes up by 15 million, which is a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it's over 10% for one knot of speed. That is insane. I don't think we can justify it. Basically, I think this is the game's way of telling us it's only 1914. You just aren't supposed to build battle cruisers that are that fast. And I'm pretty sure if we look around, look, let me save this, um, and then let's take a look at what other sh people are building. People were also suggesting that I should still look at other nations for building these things, because um, they might have better guns or something. Feels a little bit un-American. Deep into the series, I usually don't build them anywhere but on my own. Let's just save this, not go to the build thing, and now let's just take a look at a new class in theory and see what else other people have to offer. Okay, so Germany has doesn't even have 14 or 15 inch guns. This is crazy. <laughs> I really want to go with, to war with Germany now. <laughs> Um, okay, so Great Britain has quality zero 15-inch guns, so if we want to build a Dreadnought, I, I'm not going to do this, though, because I think the cost goes up. Let's find out. 117, 113, it's almost nothing. 
Oh, but they don't have all or nothing. So yeah, I mean my besides having like woefully inferior dockyards, just doesn't make any sense to build from anywhere else. But yeah, I would really want to go to war with Germany now. <laughs> Knowing that they only have 13 inch guns. Although I mean, hey, we're only fielding those ourselves, I believe. Oh, as soon as these guys all get done, I have to do a refit. One, it'll take away their penalty, their rate of fire penalty for the triple guns. And two, we can, what was the second thing? Just, oh, no, it's 13 inch guns. Who has the 13 inch guns? Yeah, the Fawn Stoy bins have to be refit, right? Yep. Okay, well, it's going to be expensive and take a long time, but I think it's worth it. Now, I think we can increase the turret armor for free now. Oh, I mean, not that we can. 12.5, man, this is a... That's right, it was an early ship, so the, the one thing I knew I could give it is long-lasting armor. They reworked the way this will work in Rule of Waves 2, so in a way which makes a lot more sense. It'll be better armor, not cheaper armor, not lighter armor. Basically, you'll be setting the inches still, but armor doesn't decrease um, weight. But 9-inch armor of one type actually will be just significantly worse or significantly better than 9-inch armor of the other. So the effect here would be, you know, effectively the armor increases over time. Which is what happens. I mean, it's a, it's a, like nine inches of old technology is about equivalent to six inches of the new technology. That's what they're trying to say. Anyways, we're going to have to wrap this up here. So I guess I'll have to think about how to do the von Steuben's shuffling with the new, like, ah, we do have enough time. Yeah, I mean, I think we just do it. We don't have any, no concerns for raising the turret. Because we just don't have the space to do it. Should we replace machinery? No real reason to do that. Just going 20 knots. We might be able to get 21 out of her, but that's not her role anyway. But let's do this. This is going to be great. Oh, man, that's a lot of secondaries. That's great. <laughs> so let's do this. Let's rebuild her right away. Let's rebuild her sister ship. And we also have 13 guns on Mount Rainier. The prettiest looking ship you ever did see basically the same design. That's a lot of guns that need to be improved though. So let's save this one as well. Yep. Get her sister ships to rebuild as well. Eight months, so hopefully we don't go to war for eight months because if we do, we'll be caught a little bit with our pants down. We'll probably wait on the Philippine class refits um, just to get the improved rate of fire from the triple turrets. We'll probably wait for those like at least five months or so, four months, so that we at least there won't be so much time without some good capital ships. Anyway, I think I'm gonna wrap this up here though. So, budget is going all over the place. That's probably because yeah, I'm refitting ships though. And that'll be done pretty soon. It doesn't look like we're going to go to war. Okay, so, well, basically kind of a weird episode all over the place in terms of whether we're going to go to war or not. I still don't know what happened with the 5 plus center line. I'm sure that someone, probably lots of people, pointed that out to me. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and until the next episode, take care.